the city of Philadelphia is a city that I love, but that doesn't change the fact that there are serious gun violence and violence problems in the communities where our kids come from. Young people, children, teenagers are carrying guns because they are not feeling safe in their communities, they're not feeling safe in their schools, they're not feeling safe in their group homes and in the institutions that we place them in. I believe young folks in our communities are feeling the need to carry weapons or even just be in close proximity to weapons based on what our community, what our city and our country has done to the black and brown community. And that can be uh, traced back to redlining. It's intentional that our communities appear to be blightful. You can see the disinvestment. When we look at where some of our kids live, they're living within 750 feet of 12, 13, 14, 15 shootings that are happening in that same year. They know the person who's been shot. They know their family. They see the bullets. They see the evidence markers that people leave. They're there for when it gets roped off. They hear the sirens. They see the ambulance. They see all of that. Many of them have family members who've been shot or even killed. And so the proximity to violence is very, very real. And when kids say to you, we carry this as a shield, not a sword, they mean it. They're afraid and we are criminalizing their fear. Every child with a gun is being detained and being held regardless of what prior contact they had in the system. Sitting for months, sleeping on the floor on a mattress with no services and no education. It is not the appropriate response for, for anyone, much less a child. In neighboring counties, we do not see children being treated this way. For, for carrying a weapon. What I kind of find ironic about all of this is America's obsession with gun culture, but that obsession only extends to a certain part of the community. Young people require mental health support and behavioral health support. They require grief support. Our young people aren't being supported the way that they should be. What we need to do when a child is arrested for possessing a gun, we need to see them diverted out of the system, but also for the city to take the very bold and necessary step to reinvest in our communities and our families, in our, in our youth, because the solutions right now on the table are not solutions that are going to work.